Give maybe we take a, a short step back. Maybe tell the audience exactly what glutathione is and oh, what yeah. it can do for the body. Absolutely. So the reason is the glutathione is so interesting because it's the most abundant uh, peptide produced in the human body. Mm. It has it usually you're not there's no shortage of glutathione in your body usually right uh, but so it's the most abundant product produced by human body and the reason is because it helps your body stay clean it helps fight diseases it it removes it conjugates with toxins to remove them out of your body uh, so it does more than just one thing and it's one of those most versatile peptide you have it's like if you have one tool one tool in your in your tool chest uh, to to solve all your problems I would say that would be glutathione. Really? So it is that important to us. And and so uh, my research has always been, how can I improve it better for all mm. of my patients? So how many amino acids is in glutathione? It's just three. Just three okay. amino acids. It's uh, glycine, glutamic acid, and, and cysteine. It's the most simplest form of a peptide, which we think about it. It's not a protein because it's a tripeptide. Uh, it requires a li little bit of energy, a little bit of NAD, and boom, uh, have your tripeptide ready in your body. Hmm. I'm wondering, if, since it's so short, does it qualify it as a bioregulator? I'm not sure it qualifies as a bioregulator. It does affect a lot of biochemical reactions, for sure. Uh, but I'm not sure if it qualifies as a bioregulator. Does it interact with the DNA? No, it does not. I don't think so in the in the sense that it it will it will alter the DNA sequences. Okay. So so how does it do all these amazing things in the uh, body? It, it has two properties, right? So if you if you know glutathione, which you do, of course you do know glutathione, it has that that smell, that that sulfur odor to it. That sulfur group, which is a thiol group on the glutathione molecule, is the most reactive substance they have. And it's really it's ready to give it away in exchange for an, uh, a supercharged uh, reactive species that's uh, that uh, that's in your body. So it's willing to give a sulfur molecule to take over the excess oxygen and so to neutralize the reactive species in your body. So that's the one way to keep your body uh, neutral and not always electronically charged at all times. So that's that's one function of, of glutathione. The second function, which is the most important portion for us, which which we, you, you don't even realize that part, is that it will bind to various elements in your body, all those chemical toxins that are kind of fat soluble, it will bind them, conjugate with them, make them water soluble. So you can either you can pee them out or you can remove them from uh, 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 through the intestines. So that function is very crucial because without detoxifying all those chemicals, you are stuck with having all those in your body. And then that just, that becomes the end of all sort of, uh, of issues because when you have chemical overload in your body, your body does not know how to respond to it. You have gene mutations, you have gene expression that you're not in, in, in your favor. Uh, all those things can start happening and you don't know where to begin now. 